Welcome back to the Frank and Gordon Show, the powerhouse of sales strategies and techniques. Today, we're going to be diving into a game-changing aspect of sales that separates the rookies from the pros in objection handling. Have you ever faced a tough objection and wished you had a magic wand to turn it into an opportunity? Well, get ready, because today we're going to equip you with the skills to do just that. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll be an objection handling wizard. So let's start off with a fundamental truth, and that is that objections are not roadblocks, so don't see them as such. Objections are simply invitations to dig deeper into the conversation with your client. Point number one is that active listening is the cornerstone of objection handling. Instead of just hearing the objection, actively listen and see what the client is saying. Pay attention to their tone, their concern, and any underlying emotions. This will allow you to respond in a way that addresses their specific needs. Point number two is to emphasize and validate. Put yourself in your client's shoes, understand their perspective, and acknowledge their concerns. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to agree with the objection, but it shows you respect their viewpoint. Saying something like, I can understand why you might feel that way, can go a long way. Point number three is to ask clarifying questions. Sometimes objections are not necessarily clear. Ask open-ended questions to dig deeper and get a clear understanding of the objection. This not only shows that you are attentive, but also helps uncover any hidden concerns. Okay, so point number four is to reframe the objection. Instead of seeing objections as roadblocks, view them as opportunities for deeper conversation. For example, if a client raises a concern about price, you can reframe it by highlighting the value and the benefits that the client will receive. In fact, add so much value to your product that the price seems cheap in comparison. Point number five is to provide solutions. Offer specific solutions to address the objection. This demonstrates that you are not just dismissing their concern, but actively working towards a resolution that benefits them. Point number six, is to share success stories. If and where applicable, share examples of how others have initially had similar objections, but then found immense value in your product or service. And this can provide social proof that will build confidence in whatever it is that you're selling. And finally, point number seven is to follow up. After addressing the objection, make sure to follow up with your client to ensure they're satisfied with your solution. This not only shows that you're committed to their satisfaction, but it also builds trust in you and your product. Remember, objection handling isn't about winning an argument. It's about building a relationship based on trust and understanding. By using these techniques, you'll not only overcome objections, but you'll also strengthen your connection with your clients. Well, there you have it, a crash course in objection handling. Now again, applying these seven points gives you the power to turn objections into opportunities. And if you found value in today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with those that want to go further faster, and subscribe to our channel for more game-changing insights. Until next time, keep hustling and keep closing those deals.